We have been following Jesus through the last few days before his crucifixion. Listen as I read through Matthew 27 verses 32 to 56. Close your eyes and picture the scene. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots, and sitting down they kept watch over him there. Above his head they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross, if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, I'll leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs broke open and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs and after Jesus' resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. Many women were there, watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joses, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. Jesus, we turn our thoughts and hearts to you and what you chose to do for us, that which we could not do for ourselves. You were so badly beaten and so tired that you could not carry the cross further. So Simon of Cyrene carried it for you. Even though your body was so broken, still you chose to journey up Golgotha so that you experienced the fullness of the weight of the sin of the world. The people that you were dying for mocked and insulted you, rejecting your identity as the Son of God and the King of all. In those moments, you experienced the shame and ugliness of sin that wasn't your own, but you owned it. The King who loved most by sacrificing most. As you took our sin and ugliness upon you, the earth and sun joined with our Father in turning away from you. For three hours in the middle of the day, there was darkness, our darkness on you, culminating in your death. Apparently the victory of evil and death over you. The earth shook, rocks split, 
holy people who had died came out of their tombs, the curtain in the temple tore, all responding to the rending of the perfect unity you had with your Father in that moment of your greatest weakness, isolated, alone, under the weight of all you were carrying. All for us, your people who choose to follow you together. We are so grateful that you chose humility, servanthood, even humiliation and death for the sake of your bride. You gave up all for the joy that was set before you. You chose us above your comfort. Thank you, Jesus, for your death.